Welcome to DBA Workshop channel. In this session, we will learn how to create few graphs in the spreadsheet. Consider this is a data and we have to create a graph with this data. First of all, start with the first two columns. Let's select these two columns and click on insert and navigate to the chart. Click on the chart and the graph will be automatically created. And here you see the configurations for this graph so first of all we could change the chart type from here we want to convert it to the line graph and do it or or we can just go with the column chart the next thing is range e1 to f9 if we consider that the range of this chart the data source for this chart is from E1 to F19. So let's see how it created the axis. For X axis, it's just to use the harvesting month column. So the first column in this data is considered as X axis. If we see that it have duplicate entries for for months for example April is coming twice March is coming twice so we want to aggregate because we are interested in seeing the month wise data so we click on aggregate once we click on the aggregate it will just run aggregate some function on this months so for example if it have two entries for March it just added the entries and make it as a one entry the next one is a series series means for aggregate it used the sum we could have another aggregate function also if you want to do the average for duplicate entries, we can do it. If we want to count it, we can do it. If we want to show the maximum, we can change the setting from here. For example, for this example, we are good with going with the sum. Next series. Series is for by axis. So in this graph, it's just projected that months are coming on x axis and we want to project the next column that is loss on y axis so the series here coming as a loss the loss column is coming as y axis clicking on these three dots and clicking on edit chart you could see the configurations over here if you want to switch the rows and columns we can click here so once I click on the switch column what it does it's just for all the values over here that means month has been here earlier have been created as a column as a labels and it is just showing a data for every month as in different label so we don't want this we just unchecking this value okay going with the next setting it is telling that use the row one as a header for example in the row one we have these columns and this is not a data this is just a header only if you want to uncheck it let's see what will happen i'm unchecking it now what happened it just created a harvesting month and as an harvesting month as an as in month itself so that is wrong so this is a heading only it is not a data so let's check it I'm clicking on the customize In customize we have a different type of a chart styles if I click on the 3d it make my graph 3d compare mode if we click on a compare mode what will happen if I have a 
two values over there it will just show those two values let me give some other example here for example this i'm clicking editing this graph and then clicking on the customize and there i just click on the compare mode once i click on the compare mode and i hover mouse to the bar chart you see it is just comparing this bar with the corresponding loss item also so it just show the value nothing else it's just telling me that uh, for the month of june i have this much of price and in the comparison this much of loss so if we don't want to print this thing we can just uncheck this value compare mode i'm just unchecking it and coming back here and once i'm clicking on it it won't show me loss it won't compare i have to manually compare it i have to manually see it. that for loss it is just this much of value and for price it is this much of value okay clicking on three dots again and let's moving forward with the next one chart axis see harvesting month is a x axis so if you want to change the title of this axis we could do it I'm just adding a here and you see the value will be reflected here if I want to change the font I could change the font also if I want to increase the font size I can increase the font size also if I want to make it bold italic if I want to change the color of this value I can change the color this is for the chart axis for example i have a different axis here so i can click on the vertical axis also for vertical axis i can do the same settings for example loss is written over here if i want to make it loss over loss in here if i'm saying that 20 19 then it will tell me you see this value has been changed over here so I'm just clicking on the edit and then going to the chart axis titles and I could change the font I could increase the font I could make it bold I could make it italic I can I can change the color for example if I want to make it red it, it can be red done from here I could change the chart subtitle also because there is no subtitle and this is if I'm writing report here it would it will write report here I could change its font also I could change its font size I could change its color I could make it bold italic whatever so I click on the chart title itself this is the main main title so if I write title here it will just edit the title over there you can change the font I can change the font size I can make it bold italic I can change its color also So this is for the so first of all we have seen how to change the if I click on the maximize what it will do it will just try to zoom the chart so generally we don't want to do that because if I do it I don't see uh, these uh, labels written clearly so I would like to uncheck that 
this is I could change the chart to background color from here for the next it is all about the titles and just to hide headings of this well, heading for this chart so we already discussed that for the series series means I have a one series over here so for losses series uh, and uh, the color in this uh, bar is just uh, this color I could change the color from here for example if I have a two series over here for example in this graph I have two series over here one is blue another one is red I go to the customize I click on the series I see apply to all series whatever the settings I do here will be applied to every series if I'm saying that to the left axis every series this y axis will be on the left hand side if I make it right hand side this will flip and uh, this y axis will go to the right hand side we want to do these changes for the price only or the price series only series is something that is on y axis and we have we have uh, we have to do the settings for a buy axis that is for price and for price I could change the color for example from here I can make it red so I'm making it red if I want to make it some other color I can change it from here if I want to make it on left axis I could just uh, go to the left axis what happened that right now sometimes what happens that uh, I have a two different kind of data and that is not comparable so what I will do I will just make the price on the left hand side and make the loss on the right hand side I can do that if I want to do some common settings I can do apply for all series and I can do uh, if I want to print the data labels, I can click here and all the data labels will be printed over here. So for now, if I do it, it doesn't seem to be uh, very convenient, but if we want to do it, we can do it. So I'm checking that trend line. Trend line is something that we want to have a trend line. So now I'm selecting this one. And uh, so trend line is something that is telling us the regression uh, we have uh, some function over here like it just to do some kind of a mathematical calculation for linear regression and it can show us the formula what kind of a formula it is using for example this one I can tell the equation it is also telling me what the regression equation is doing and it is doing some kind of approximate approximation that how this uh, how this data is behaving so let me just move this chart aside so that I can see this you see for this guy over here it is just telling what is the regression equation it used to print the trend line so for this trend line it is just telling us that this kind of a mathematical linear regression formula it is using to generate a trend line for us trend line is something that is telling the flow of the data over the period of time it is using some mathematical functions over here Clicking on the customize and then going to the error bars. Error bars is something that, for example, if we are not very sure about the data over here and there is a chances that this data could vary and there is a chances of 10% error over here or maybe 5% of error over here, we can do that adjustment. So this is telling us, okay, this value could just vary, go, go 10, 5% above or may go 5% down. So that is for a percent and uh, for constant if we already know that it can jump it can go uh, one point above or two point above so we could simply write two this is not a percentage this is just a two point variation and if it is none we could do the none 
otherwise if we already know that that there is a some standard deviation we already know that what what is the standard deviation in this data we could manually adjust it but for now we don't want to do it we just clicking on the none and it just go and check for trend line we could have a different kind of a series over here whatever the series we want to apply for the regression line so i or we could go with the default values we want to print the trend line regarding the trend line we have another options also that uh, what could be the opacity of of the line if i make it uh I, i can make it bolder 4.4 pixels and uh, if i don't want to show the formula i can uncheck this for legions i can go down and see these are the legions over here and uh, i can i can move its position i can uh, make it uh, printed on the bottom i can make it printed on the on the top side i can make it printed on the left side so whatever the settings i will do with these lead lesions i can do from here i can make it bold i can make it italic i can i can change the color of this so for example i make it blue i could change the font for this similarly i can do the changes for the horizontal axis horizontal axis is just x axis and for x axis i can uh, do the uh, font change i can uh, make it larger i can i can slant it if i want to make it 90% it's just uh, uh, printing vertically i can change its color also i can make it bold i can make it italic i can reverse the order axis i mean if the first value printed over here is a may and if i want to if reverse it it just to go other way around so first of all to see that effect first of all we have to aggregate it we have to aggregate with the sum and going back here and then seeing the first value is a march and last is a december and if i want to reverse it first would be the december and last would be the march Okay, and we could do the same kind of similar settings with the vertical axis here i have a vertical axis over here i could change its color i could make it bold i could make it italic i can change the font i can increase the font size what is the minimum and maximum for example it is starting from 0 and it is going until 10000 if i want to make it just go until 20000 i can write maximum value over here okay if i want to make it as a 3000 it, it does not work so i make it 3000 and let's see what will happen it won't show any data below the 3000 now i just click on the date chart and uh, here Uh, there is a value over here that is telling allow bond to hide the data because there is a, some data related to zero and uh, if i just uncheck this it won't allow me to go to hide this data itself so it won't allow me to hide the data if my range is uh, cutting some data in the graph so if i click on it it will just cut it if i don't click on it it, it even my range is not satisfied then also it won't allow me to cut the data and then scale factor scale factor is something for example there is a 10000 and i want to print it in as a, a unit i mean one unit as a 1000 dollar so what i will do i will just make it as a thousand time what happen it is just showing me that five units means 5000 so by default we go with the default value and then next is a grid line grid line is something the number of lines between these units if i want to show 
uh, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000 also on the graph. I could increase the grids over here. For example, if I increase the grid, it is just showing me many labels over here. I can make it more uh, minor grids also. So it's just to further distribute these values. So it automatically does. If we want to make it automatically, we can click on the auto. And we could change the type of the chart from here. For example, it is a smooth line chart. Maybe we want to go with the scattered one. We just click on it and we get a scattered chart. That's all. That's all. Thank you very much.